stop the presses, hold the phone, a factual error in reporting from the Lunduk Journal has been found and has been verified. This is critically important because part of responsible journalism, technology journalism or otherwise, is a relentless dedication to the facts. This means that when an error is discovered, a factual error, it is critically important that the publication not only correct that error, many, many will correct an error silently, they just slip it in there, but that that, that error and the correction must be loudly and publicly announced. People need to know that an error occurred, right? It can't, it can't just be a simple little thing you slide into there. You need to be loud about it. You need to let people know that this was an error. It occurred and it has been fixed. It is absolutely, absolutely critical. Uh, with that in mind, here is what we found. In the August 20th, 2023 article entitled The Wiki Piggy Bank, I go in-depth on the financials of Wikipedia and the Wikimedia Foundation, which runs it. In one portion of that article, I discuss what's known as the Wikimedia Endowment. It is a fund worth over a hundred million dollars. It's a huge fund. In that portion of the article, I made the following statement regarding the source of the funds for this endowment. Quote, if, Wik if Wikimedia Foundation only contributed $30 million from user donations to the endowment, who contributed the rest of the money? A company? A rich benefactor? No, it's not listed. Well, it turns out that statement was factually incorrect. I've screenshotted the statement here with the offending line because you all need to see where the error took place. And it turns out that some of that information is in fact made publicly available. I link to it in this article here as well as in the original article. The Lunduk Journal, I just simply missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I, 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 can't, I can't claim anything else other than I, I missed this one. Uh, I shouldn't have missed this one. This is right in my wheelhouse of digging up information on, on these sorts of organizations, but somehow I missed this. And this is an unfortunate error because not only did I get it wrong, the details of this fund of this funding raises significant questions about Wikimedia. And quite honestly, it makes the, the original story even more compelling, right? Like if I had uncovered these details during the original reporting, the story would have been better. The story would have been juicier. The story would have had more to it. Oh my heavens, what an absolute travesty this was. Uh, now, now here's a screenshot of some of those details. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call this out a little bit here. Uh, uh, three, three names jumped out: George Soros, Google, and Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's plenty more too, and there's lots that can be gone into uh, here. Um, uh, lots of benefactors. These are individuals and organizations that gave a lot of money to this Wikimedia endowment. But these, these names, man, they raise some significant concerns regarding the potential control of Wikipedia. George Soros controlling to a certain extent wikipedia is a very very big deal it's going to be a very big deal for a lot of people now the question that's worth asking here is why did wikimedia not correct this error and this is very much worth noting the Lunduk Journal reached out to the Wikimedia Foundation both before and after the publication of the original article for comments and corrections. I sent them a draft uh, which contained this information in it, which contained this error in it. Um, they never provided anything. And that article went on to be seen in one form or another, sometimes sent around as links, sometimes uh, people talked about in the podcasts, sometimes people took screenshots and shared it to social media, but it got shared around a lot. And that was seen tens of millions of times. Uh, last count, as of last December, it was something like 25 million people had seen different variations on this article, uh, screenshots and whatnot, across a bunch of different platforms. That's a lot of people looking at this. And that's a lot of times that the Wikimedia Foundation definitely saw it as well, which means that the Wikimedia Foundation was aware of the contents of this article. 
And when the Lunduk Journal published the statement that their benefactors were, quote, not listed, which was an error, they would have immediately known that this was an error, right? They put up their website. They knew who their benefactors are. They knew what information they published. And as portions of that article were shared around and screenshotted and quoted millions and millions of times, they would have been reminded of that error repeatedly, which begs the question, why not correct the error? It's fascinating, right? If, if you have articles out there being quoted millions of times and it has an error about you in it, don't you, don't you correct it? Doesn't someone related to your organization say, well, actually, that's not quite right? You'd think so. The answer appears fairly obvious here. They did not correct the error and this is a little bit of an assumption, but it seems pretty obvious because they did not want the error corrected, right? They chose to not correct the error because, and I think, again, we have to assume, because this is just an obvious assumption, that the truth is far worse for them than the error. The original error was that, oh, we don't know. It's a bit nebulous. We wish we had more information about the people giving them funds. The truth is George Soros. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but if I'm running a nonprofit organization that's trying to appeal to a broad demographic, I would rather have it be nebulous than George Soros. Holy heavens. George Soros is among the most polarizing and most hated persons on earth. And we won't go into all the details of that now, but oh my heavens, right? I mean, you don't, you don't tack the name George Soros into a financial statement or an article and have it just be no big deal. People will immediately make huge numbers of assumptions based on that. And none of those assumptions tend to be very positive. I think we can all understand what we're talking about there. And considering the pointedly political agendas and spending of the Wikimedia Foundation, which all of my, which all appears very accurate in the original reporting, which I linked to here, the direct funding and involvement of George Soros only adds fuel to the fire here, right? Concerns are being raised and now fuel is being added to that fire because of the involvement of George Soros. Man, oh man, <laughs> I wish I'd caught this error. Oh, I wish I had caught this error prior to publication, as it makes the story even more interesting. But uh, I certainly see why the Wikimedia Foundation was not keen on these facts getting more widespread coverage. I get it. They don't want people talking about this. They don't want people talking about any of this. But you really don't want people talking about this with George Soros' name tacked onto it. <laughs> now, uh, this error has been corrected. Um, this error has been corrected in the original article. I'm also publishing this article uh, that you, I'm reading to you guys here, standalone on the Lunduke Journal, to announce the error, not buried, but front page at the top, error occurred, fixed. I'm also following up by publishing both a podcast and a video, which you are watching and listening to now, declaring both the error and the correction. I want to thank the Lunduke Journal reader. I, my apologies for not including his name here. I, I, I just didn't, I didn't copy and paste that. My, my apologies. But those of you over on lunduke.locals.com can look it up and see who thankfully found this error and sent this in. It is deeply, deeply appreciated. Now, I want to, I want to make a, a couple more quick statements here. Um, I have received a few other people claiming they found errors in articles over the last couple of days. A few days ago, I issued a challenge to people to find errors. And I, and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. One thing to bear in mind when you do that is that there is a very big difference between a fact and an opinion or a speculation or an analysis, right? Now, I provide a huge amount of facts in all of my articles, and I try and diligently make sure that those facts are facts, hard facts, undis indisputable facts, easily provable facts, right? And back them up with as much as I can here. 
That said, I also have decades upon decades of experience in the tech industry in a multitude of ways, and I am going to often opine on various different stories. I'm going to provide my opinions, some anecdotes, some analysis, and some forward-looking ideas of what may be happening here. All of that all of that you can agree with or disagree with, but those aren't facts. My analysis, my opinions are simply that, and I feel like the majority of the Lunduke Journal audience is extremely intelligent, and you can tell the difference between when someone is stating here is a fact and here is an opinion that I think is happening. Um, and so I, I, I want to make sure you're, I'm very clear about this. If you're correcting an error you find, don't correct an error of opinion, right? <laughs> if I like or dislike something, don't correct that. <laughs> correct a factual error. And if you're going to correct a factual error, you, it needs to be backed up with something, with someone. Uh, so uh, when this particular error was submitted in, the person who submitted it did an absolutely stellar job linking directly to where they thought, he, where he thought, hey, this looks like the source of the information that you said didn't exist. And lo and behold, there it was. He nailed it. He provided very clear evidence that I had made an error. It was fantastic. That is exactly how you do it. Now, if you just say, you got it wrong, Lunduke, I don't like, well, the prob you're probably just upset at my opinions and maybe take a deep breath, go outside for a minute and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then don't worry about it. But if you do find actual factual errors, you can email them to me. You can post them over on Locals. Uh, go to lunduke.com and you can find all the contact information there. I absolutely will go through them all. I won't necessarily have time to respond to everyone, but I will be going through every single one that comes in to evaluate them to see whether or not an error was in fact made. Because if an error was made, I need to know about it so that my reporting is accurate and so that you can have confidence in my reporting. This is absolutely critical. Uh, now, I also want to say that if you're reporting disagreements, errors, anything else, not on locals or via email, I probably won't see it. Uh, now, if you post it to like my Twitter feed or something like that, there's a chance I might see it. Uh, if you post it over on Rumble, maybe I'll see it. If you post it in a comment on a YouTube video or post a YouTube or a podcast video or any of those things themselves, I'm probably not going to see it. Uh, I'm sorry. I People yell about me on the internet a lot. I don't really have time to like scour every different source and, and even the comment sections of my own YouTube channels. I don't read those. I don't really even go to YouTube that much. I'll, I'll publish everything. Like this video, I publish to locals and I'll publish to Rumble. I'll even publish over on Twitter. And then as an afterthought, it also gets posted to YouTube. I don't really go back into YouTube to check on the art, the comments and all that sort of thing. I, I'm not a YouTuber. Uh, so if you want to get a hold of me, if you want to make sure that your error that you found, big or small, actually gets seen by me, email or locals. Those are the two ways to do it. Those are the best options. That'll make it happen. All right. Once again, thank you to the, uh, to the, to the diligent and highly intelligent Lunduke Journal reader who sent in this correction. Uh, th this is fantastic. Uh, my, now, my hope is that there's very few <laughs> errors found after this because obviously we would like to have no errors in the reporting. But you know what? Human mistakes happen. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy that the Lunduke Journal fan base, the Lunduke Journal readers and audience hold my feet to the fire and make sure, make darn sure that the contents of the Lunduke Journal are 100% factual. Uh, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Couldn't do it without you. All right, everybody. Uh, if you do not subscribe to the Lunduke Journal, go on over and do that. Go to lunduke.com or lunduke.locals.com or something like that. And with that, <laughs> <laughs> nice promo work, right? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tube, as I do declare, end broadcast. <laughs>